So today on the table, I've got a Note Samsung Note 5 that has burn-in, or OLED burn-in, around the top strip where the notifications normally are, and also along the bottom where the icons on the home page normally live. So the first row of icons down the very bottom. I try as I might with my Yi action camera, it fails to pick up the actual, or in this video it fails to pick up where the burn-in is. But essentially I've run it for a small test, jumped on Play Store and downloaded this program called OLED Tools. And from there you get a few different options. You can scroll through colours and brightness to try and identify it. You can kind of make it out, but not really. So, sorry for the footage, it doesn't really explain what I'm trying to discuss. But I'll carry on with it anyway. Now OLED burn burn is probably one of my least desired things on a display. I, don't, I prefer LCD personally at the moment. I would like the deeper blacks that OLED can provide, but at the risk of burn-in or if the screen is already affected by burn-in, it's definitely not pleasant. So right now I've just ran it through a burn-in remover or reducer, which is available in the program that I just opened. Now I set this video, or last night I had it running for about 5.30 p.m. till about 9, 10 o'clock a.m. So roughly about 12 hours as recommended. But yeah, the results don't, don't really display it here, but with this burn-in remover, to me it's failed to actually remove or correct anything, which is a bit disappointing. But then again, what do you expect with a, a three-year-old OLED panel? So for me it was no good. For you, the results might vary. Catch ya.